program that I use for technical analysis, for looking at charts, and I think it's by far the best charting software that you could find for free um, on the internet for looking at stocks. And it's called TradingView. Here is what the website looks like if you first log on. I'm uh, incognito just so it doesn't have all of my presets. I want you to see kind of what you will see when you first log on. So you could create an account, very simple. Again, it's free to join. Now, if we uh, jump over to a stock, let's, uh, let's look up Adobe. If we click on uh, that, this is what you will see. As soon as the chart loads, here's the chart. You can compare it to some of the indexes. It shows you the price, just some basic information here. Um, if you go down, you can see some technicals, gives you some uh, more information here, balance sheet, margins, dividends, price history, valuation, all of this good stuff, a little description of the company. And uh, these, these are other people's uh, analysis. They could share them. And, you know, you could read their analysis, what they're thinking, whether it's a long-term play, short-term play, if they're shorting or going long on the stock, uh, whatever it might be, day trading, swing trading, long-term trading. So it's really cool how you could just dig into all of that. But here's, here's where the fun stuff comes. When you click on the full feature chart, this is where you can customize everything to your liking. So... This even isn't what it will look like when you first log on. When you first log on, before you have any presets, it'll just be that. It'll just be the line chart, which uh, you know really doesn't show much. You go here, depending on how you like to look at stocks. You know, my favorite is candlesticks. I like looking at candlesticks. But you know, you could choose anything. If you like bars, you could look at that. So you can just customize it however you want. And what's really neat about this is everything moves. You could add in different uh, indicators. So if we go here to add in some moving averages, we just type in moving averages. There it is. I'll do two of them. You go over here, go to settings. You can change the style, you can change the input. Let's do 100 day moving average. Say the style I want to be blue, a line. Uh, let's see, there is also, oh, I know there's a way to thicken the line as well. For now, we'll just keep it like that to try to keep this video short. Make this one say red. Want this to be the 200 day moving average. There we go. I have my moving averages now. And what's cool is this is for everything. So if I go up here, I want to jump over to a different stock. Say we go to NASDAQ, QQQ. The moving averages are there, right there. If I don't want to see them, I could just do that. Let's bring them all back. It's also really cool is if you go into the settings here, there's so many different things that you could change. You just need to dig around in all of this. You could change the appearance. Maybe you don't want the candlesticks to be red and green. Maybe you want them to be purple and blue. I don't know. You could change everything in this. It's so customizable to what you want to see, what you like. Once you make an account, you could have a watch list and you could follow them. You have all of these tools where you could... You could draw on it. You could change the colors of this. There's just so much. And again, I'm not going to go over everything because this video would be several hours long. There's just so much information. I'm going to show you what mine looks like. I like to keep it simple. So when you have an account, this is what it looks like. And you know, if we click on one of the stocks, right, let's go back to Adobe. Again, it would be similar to what we saw on the first one, before you have an account, you can add in these to see how it's doing compared to the market. I like that feature. Let's open up this. And this is my presets. This is everything that I like to look at. 
I don't like the grids. I got rid of the grids. Um, I like the red and green candlesticks, but I have a black line around them. If, uh, if you saw the one before you have an account, just the uh, preset, um, there's, there's really no black lines defining anything. Just personal preference. But that's what's great about this program. I have my volume. I have the moving averages. You can see you could thicken the lines. I have EMAs. This is really what I like to look at here. Sometimes I look at the VWAP. Sometimes I look at uh, some Bollinger Bands, but not really. But what's great is you, you could just add whatever you want. You want to add an RSI. You could do that. You just got to go to FX. You could search and start adding whatever you want. Type in RSI. There it is. Click on that. Okay, you need to upgrade because you could only have a certain amount of indicators. So that's the only downfall. You can't add a million different indicators. But if I get rid of some of these, I could go and look at the RSI if I want to. Here's my watch list. You can see all of the stocks here. But this is this has got to be the best charting software. If you go up here, you could change what you want to see. Maybe you want to see a daily chart, weekly chart, a monthly chart whatever it might be very customizable like that and another thing i really like let's go to a stock that gives dividends like nvidia very small dividend um let me just turn off all of this really quick if you go down here this data is adjusted for dividends so we could get rid of that right if we do percentage, so since uh, this time back in 2007 to now, it's um, it's almost up about 1,400%. If we adjust for dividends, it will adjust the stock for that. So now you see it's at 1,500 if you account for all of the dividends. So again, this program is so powerful. There's so many different things that you could do with it. See down here, you could see, I could click on, oh, what was the earnings back on this day? Or what are the expected earnings? What was the dividend? There's just so much information, so much technical analysis that you could do with this. And all you really got to do is just play around with it because there's so many things that I'm not even going over just because we would be here forever. So if you are looking for a program that can help you do all this technical analysis, charting, all of this good stuff. This is by far the absolute best program, in my opinion. If you don't think so, then tell me what you think is better. But I, I think TradingView is by far the best program to use. It's so easy. It's so customizable. There's so many different things you could do. Like just all of these, you just got to mess around with it and just figure out everything that you could do with it. It's absolutely amazing.